mettre deux cornes sur le nez, et non sur le front comme les autres animaux. Et the voice might be funny, but the goal is serious. This studio in the French town of bourg le piage is making a computer game to educate children about animal diversity and threats facing the environment. Serious games are quite complicated to explain because it's something enormous. They include educational modules, communication modules or simulations, so they're addressed to everyone, to every kind of public, young and less young. It's all types of technology, all types of messages. Messages like the importance of waste recycling, another issue children can learn about while having fun. The interactive software uses traditional gaming technologies for new reasons, to spread awareness of various problems efficiently. Game designers can use any genre appropriate for the target audience, from simple arcade games styles for the youngest, to complicated strategy and realistic role-play games for adults. One of the examples is Les Conférences de Professor Beatritus by Donuts Studios, a game promoting waste collection and separation which has recently been given out to the school children in two French departments by a local garbage treatment syndicate. We had a communication project in all the primary schools in our area, but we didn't know what tool to use. Through a third person we met Emmanuel Expraya, we talked to him, and he suggested making an interactive game targeting primary schools. It is a house with different rooms, and the child clicks with his mouse on different objects in a room. For example, in the kitchen there are dishes or cardboard boxes, and he should put them into the correct garbage container, a container for recyclable waste, a compost can for food leftovers. The feedback from the schools has so far been very positive. Developers say that many children adopted the message and even passed it on, explaining to their parents how important for the environment the waste separation is. The children are very satisfied because the video tool is something that they know well, something modern, and it allows them while playing to learn about the environment and to get the right message about recycling. Donuts Studios is just one of around 500 video entertainment companies based in the Rhône-Alpes region of France, the home to about 40% of the national electronic games industry. Another enterprise situated in picturesque Annecy also produces computer games, but the audience targeted by this studio is much older. Its three-dimensional role-play games put the player in the shoes of a decision-maker, simulating a process of business negotiations with a client or partner. The games feature a non-linear storyline. Each choice of action made by the player will have its consequences and will influence the outcome. Today, all the big companies in France use serious games to train their employees, be it banks, insurance companies, service providers like phone companies, or something more recent like the car industry, which also uses serious games. Just like in real life training, the player has to employ his or her best negotiating qualities to make the virtual counterpart agree on a business deal, buy the right train ticket, or share some details of an upcoming project. The manager is my avatar, meaning a character who represents me. I'm facing Amelia and have to direct my character's behavioural intentions. Here, for example, I'm going to show some interests to my colleague. Every time I make a choice, my colleague, according to his psychological profile, his intentions and all my previous actions till this point, will react in a different manner. I, as the manager, have to adapt to the situation and make the right choices. Précisément, oui. En fait, le principe est simple. The game is used by several major companies for staff training and has already been tested for educational purposes at the local Savoie University Institute of Marketing. Tout de suite, j'ai vu que les étudiants étaient euh, captivés. Immediately, I saw how the students were attracted because I completely entered their world. We were in a virtual game controlled by computer. 
and at the same time it gave us many new ways of development. Experts see an immense potential in serious games, which are rapidly becoming a common tool for education and communication. This software uses an educational approach. You lead a negotiation and in the end the program returns you the analysis, telling you where you played well and explaining the reasons, but indicating where there were problems which made a character get angry and leave. That's interesting because we can see step by step what worked and what didn't, and this is how we advance and learn new things. Ce qui a moins marché, et comme ça on avance et on apprend.